welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in. Just a quick one today on the GoPro. Uh, one of the features I see that's not used often is the GPS feature. It lets you put metrics on your videos, such as your speed and your altitude, even your G-force. So I just want to quickly show you how to do that. I mean, you might use this more on the road, but it is cool for all sports where anytime you use the GoPro, and it's dead easy to do. You only need the GoPro Quick app on your phone, and obviously a GoPro 5 black or above. Um, so this is how you do it. You can get results like this. This is a little video I filmed on my motorbike uh, last year. Uh, there is a full video of this. It's a few minutes long, but I never actually published it. It's a bit boring, but you can watch it if you want. There's a link in the description below. Click that and you can watch the video uh, without the metrics. So this is how you make the video. I'm using a GoPro 10 here. From the settings, you can already see GPS is off at the top left with the line through the GPS. We just nav navigate through the preferences to regional. In there, you'll see the GPS option it's set to off at the currently. Just tap it, uh, tap again or slide down, that will turn it on. And then that's it. Just go back through the menu preferences and you'll see that the GPS should now be shown at the top left of the screen and it's got a full solid icon to indicate it's actually got a GPS signal as well. So this is the way to see if you've actually got a signal when you're out riding or just make sure it's got that solid signal. If you want to turn it off, and this is a good thing to do, if you're not going to do it, it can save your battery a bit. Just go back through the preferences, turn it to off, uh, and that's it. Your camera is now enabled for GPS. So once your camera is enabled, get out there, film some footage, and then we're going to edit it in the GoPro Quick app. I'm just using my phone here. All I'm doing is I've downloaded it from the cloud and click the pencil icon that does edit. Just going to process the file. And then once you've done that, you can select stickers at the bottom. Uh, the stickers icon will give you the option to choose whichever one you want to do, speed or altitude, etc. And you just tap it. You can tap each icon four or five times to move it around the screen. Five times will get rid of it. Four will move it around each of the corners. You can overlap them if you want and just tap wherever you want them to go. I've chosen speed. Uh, the circle is G-Force, not that you're going to see much of that in this video. Um, once you've done that, you can just export the video or save the video rather and then put it into your normal editing software if you want to do that or share it with your friends, it depends how far you want to go with this. And that's it, dead easy. Some tips for using this then, make sure that the GPS signal is locked in, you can see by having a full uh, coloured in GPS indicator on your screen. It's a bit of a faff before you want to go, if you just press the button to start and record and turn it on and turn it off, a lot of time it doesn't get it, so you need to make an effort to sh make sure it's there. To get a good GPS signal, you want to make sure you're not inside if, if possible, or if there's loads of trees and that kind of thing, it can affect the signal. But also, this, the receiver is on the top of the GoPro, so if you wear the GoPro upside down, it doesn't get as good a signal as the other way around. You would think it would sort that out, but from experience, it's better to try and have it facing the right way up. So there's another tip to go for. It is a good, nice little feature. You don't use it too much. It can be a bit of a novelty, but I think it's pretty cool. I never really see it on the, the GoPro videos. Why not check it out? Let me know if you've done it before. Let me know how accurate you think it is. Uh, you, there are more accurate pieces of software you can use, such as Garmin Verb, where you can export your GPX file or TCX file, which is the file your um, recording device, be it your phone, your watch, or your head unit does. And you can also link things to that, such as your power, your cadence, and that kind of thing. Again, more related to road, I suspect. So that's it for today. If you want to see the Garmin Verb video, I can show you how to do that. It's a bit more long-winded. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Get some cool riding in this weekend, and I'll see you soon.